The overall goal of the following experiment is to demonstrate the ease of recording olfactory responses from the insect nervous system. This is achieved by restraining a live moth and hooking electrodes to the antenna or an individual neuron to record odorant-induced responses. As a first step, a saline-filled glass electrode is impaled in the eye as ground. As a second step, antennae of the restrained moths are inserted into a saline-filled glass electrode, which enables recordings of electrical responses in the form of an antennagram. For recording single-unit responses from an olfactory receptor neuron, the recording electrode is introduced at the base of a sensillum. Next, the antennal signal is amplified and fed onto an analog digital converter in order to record and save signals. Results are obtained that show dose-dependent odorant-induced responses based on the recorded electrical signal in the form of an EAG signal or a spike. We developed a new method of recording the antennogram from the restrained live moth of navel orange worm. Uh, the main advantage of this technique is that preparation lasts for a long time uh, and the same moth can be used multiple times to record multiple responses. Uh, and the same moth can also be used to record a single unit responses from an individual sensilla from the antenna. We focus on the navel orange worm because it's an important agricultural pest in California. However, this method can be used for other Lepidopter insects, not only to address fundamental questions in olfaction, but also for the development of new attractants. This study of the moth olfactory system uses the navel orange worm Amulois transitella. The insect colony is maintained on a wheat bran diet in environmental chambers at approximately